Hello and welcome to DCD Transporters. I'm Darren, Jack's on the camera and today we wanted to show you this very special 4Motion T6.1 that we've had in and is about to leave our workshop. So before it does leave the workshop, let's have a quick run through of what we've been doing with it. So starting with the outside of the vehicle, as you can see, like I said, it started life as a 4Motion. It's a combi, so it's a really lovely spec that included the LED headlamps and then added to that the laser lamps in the grill, lifted suspension, KMC hole shots with the BF Goodrich tyres on it, and the snorkel really finishing everything off. So it's a very cool off-grid looking four-wheel drive machine. So we needed to give it quite the rugged, very special interior. So come and join us and we'll show you what we've done. Okay, let's take a look on the inside. Let's have a look through over what we've done to the inside. First and foremost, we've got the Rusty Lee rock and roll bed. So this is a 120 M1 tested. So the M1 test classification just means it's been crash tested and approved and is a much safer style of beds. It has a massive plate underneath, keeping everything all in place should you be in an accident. So very nice, very safe bed. And being a 120, it's got a nice usable bit of extra space compared to a normal three quarter. So it's 80 mil wider approximately. So that means you have got a nice two person bench and a decent size and width bed. So that brings us to the cabinetry. We've got a low level cabinet going all the way through the van with various sort of access points in the back here, a lovely little lift up access point that gets you into a huge storage area underneath. So you can put all your duvets, cushions, pillows, and you know linen and that all tucked away in there, really nice. Nice little storage pocket over in the side here. So that doubles uh, for both um, bed up and bed down. So when you're in the seating position, you've got a nice little storage area you can put your phones in and you know, maps and other bits and bobs and books that you might be uh, using or reading and people are sort of using in the back of the van as you're traveling. And then of course at night, when you've got the bed in the out position and it's all folded out, you can still get access to that lovely little pocket there. So again, really good for storage of your phones uh, and other bits and bobs. So really nice. And the biggest table that we could manage to put in the van. So the, the two of you can sit quite nicely and comfortably around the table, you know, having a bit of dinner. Very, very nice. So this is all oak, worktop being oak as well, and then extending out towards the fridge. So the fridge is our favorite, the Dometic CRX50, as you can see in there really lovely usable space really big drawers really big tray in there really lovely and we've color coded it as we like to do so it is obviously the same on the outside as the laminate that we've used on the rest of the build and sitting above it has got to be my favorite mod at all so let's go into that in a little bit more detail i'll come around the other side and jack will be able to get in and we'll show you some more detail Okay, so this has got to be one of the best bits um, that we like fit in, and this is the signature bit of the build, the diesel cooker. So it keeps you off grid without having to have any gas in the van. So I absolutely love it. These are the Wallace diesel cookers, and we haven't found one that's better. Uh, we've tried a couple of these different cookers in the past. We've got a video on a, a previous one, but these are the absolute best. So they're made in Finland, like I said, by a company called Wallace, and they make a range of like diesel cookers. The single one, which obviously suits this van very well because of the narrow workspace that we've got. And of course they do a twin, and they do a twin with a cover that obviously can be a heater as well. But this van is running the auto term heater as an as a overnight heater. And then obviously this is the diesel cooker. So controller sits on here above the fridge. And then we have an altitude switch. So if you are up in the mountains and you're above 1500 feet, you can then switch it. So it changes the way that the diesel is burnt and the mixture. And then of course you can operate it as you're up in the hills. So single plate on there, heats up pretty quick. 
and like I said its best thing is there is no gas in the van whatsoever and they heat up pretty quick they're not quite as quick as a gas cooker but I think that's a compromise really worth having because then it is just a single source thing so night heater van and cooker all running off your main diesel tank so as long as you've got diesel in the van you've got everything that you need and like I said they are brilliant and they look really lovely and swish as well so as a backup for cooking we've got the microwave in here as well so Jack will show you and pan around that so that's just a nice camper specific microwave so you'll note that it doesn't have the revolving dish that you've probably got on your microwave at home. So these are very specific. So they are, you know, non rattling and they're great for the camper van. And in order to run that you know, efficiently, we've got 200 amp hour lithium battery set up in here with a three and a half thousand watt pure sign inverter. That's all hidden underneath the rock and roll bed. So that's in its own little utilities cupboard just in there uh, so you can get access access to that should you need but otherwise that sits in the background and everything is bluetooth controlled so you can see what the status of your battery is so the soc state of charge and you can see what the solar is pulling in and what you're consuming as well at the same time so bringing you around to the rest of the cabinets as we're coming down here we will just flick the lights on quickly to show you so you've got under cabinet lighting which is really nice and it's dimmable as well. Now, sorry folks, we are gonna to have to turn that off because the strobe effect with the camera is slightly interfering with, uh, with our filming, but you can see the effect. So without the camera on, obviously it makes no difference and you can't see that flicker, but with the camera filming at the film rate that we're trying to achieve, it does uh, flicker with the light. So we will turn that back off again, but that's a really nice touch and that is dimmable as well. So going round towards the back of the van, if Jack can follow me around here. You've just got your normal switches, a uh, nice little switch for your reading lights. So you've got those on the back there, 240 socket, USBs, inverter controller, and night heater, or just over, you know, night uh, diesel heater controller. Around the van, we've got the van shades fitted, which oh, we absolutely love. They're one of our favorites. They have completely blackout and they're in the iron grey to match the rest of the interior. We've got the nice little oak details into the side on both sides of the van as well. So quickly going back to the electrics that we're talking about. So the sockets, the 240 sockets that are running in this van are on a switching relay, which is a really, really clever idea. So not only do they work on the inverter, but they also work up on the hookup as well. So, and they'll work flawlessly between the two. So you can have hookup power and inverter power and it will switch seamlessly between the two as you switch between. So if you want to use the inverter and then you get to a campsite and you've got hookup power, you can put the hookup lead in and the van will automatically sort itself out and then go straight onto hookup mode. So then you're saving the inverter and you don't need to use that and you use the same sockets. So there aren't two sets of sockets. You're not having to think, oh, OK, I'm on hookup. I now need to use this specific socket they all are on and available at any one time no matter what your power source is so they're available on the inverter all the time and then as soon as you hook up the switchover relay will change it and then it'll bring it onto the hookup power as well so that excellent so really nice little feature on there and above the switches and the electrics we've got our big top cabinet now having had quite a few vans and been camping quite a lot i think some of the worst things are when you just don't have decent space in the top cabinets and there's quite a few top cabinets out there that have been designed to i think accommodate a pencil case um and not a lot else so we've actually got decent cupboards that you can get decent items into now obviously i would pack them um rather than just obviously leaving them loose as you're you're driving along but you can see, you know, you can get some really nice chunky bits in there. So all your food and your tea bags, like pots of tea and coffee and cups and you know, everything can be stored in there. And that's nicely out of the way. And the springs just keep that up as well. So you don't have to worry about holding those. On the roof uh, for the Skyline pop top that we fitted, it's the bifold bed. 
So as you can see, loads and loads of space above me and we can stand right up next to the rock and roll bed and still have lots and lots of space in the van. We've lined it with suede, so a really, really nice touch. And that bifold bed, when it comes down flat, it's got a double bed up the top there as well with a nice little memory foam mattress. That's going to be nice and comfortable. So this is a proper, genuine full berth van. So yeah, let's take a look at some of the details from the outside. So on the back of the van, let's pop the tailgate and we'll show you the rear of the rock and roll bed. So access onto the back here, another nice little big cupboard loads of space for putting bits and bobs into on the back you can just about see the back of the inverter and, and the and the leisure battery in there and then like we were saying with the electrics on the inside for your hookup hookups hidden in one of the little flaps here really lovely discreet flap you couldn't really tell from the outside that that is a 240 hookup we absolutely love them they are my favorite so yeah absolutely perfect so if you do find yourself at the campsite and you do have 240 available, then why not use it? You know, that's then going to save you from having to deplete your battery and obviously running your inverter. So, yeah. Band shade on the back again. Another nice little touch in there. And then if we move around, Jack might just be able to show you the solar on the roof. So that's a 300 watt monocrystalline panel, they are Austrian made, and they've got a self-healing property to them as well. So if you do manage to, you know, drive underneath some low hanging branches, that sort of thing, they do heal themselves. So the small minor scratches that you might get that will impede some panels, they don't really affect these, they do self-heal. And they're really good in cloudy conditions as well. So you can have a partially covered panel and they will still draw lots and lots of power. So really great off-grid machine. We wanted to show you on this build as well, the Skyline pop top. So it's a regular one for us. We really like these Aurora pop tops. So this being the short wheel base version. So it's a Aurora short wheel base. They are a slightly lower profile, but they aren't the, the, the slimmest ones. And I'm not really a, a fan of those. These are my absolute favorite. So it's got the locking cams up on the front there. So a really nice, safe and secure roof. And this particular one, has got the scenic canvas as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the van and open it all up and then Jack's gonna show you what it looks like and what the bed is like when it's made up on the inside with that all in there. So give us a second, we'll get that ready. So just before we turn the roof into the scenic canvas so you can go on safari mode, I'm just gonna show you another thing that we include with all of the pop tops that we fit on the T5s and T6s, and that is this cover panel, which is worth its weight in gold. So there's two reasons why I really like it. One, it keeps all the canvas hidden when the roof is down. And two, it really stops a lot of the noise. And three, if there is a third one, it looks really cool. So uh, for the two main reasons, obviously that canvas, when you've got it all folded up, yes, you can do it quite neat, um, but you'll never stop that from spilling in. So with the cover panel there, it just keeps everything really nice and neat. And the bonus is that it then really cuts down on the road noise as well. So with the cover panel closed, then yeah. If you've got children and you do want to stay up a little bit later than what they are staying up and they're upstairs and you're trying to get them off to bed, that little cover panel also is a bit of a godsend in the fact that you can then block the light out from downstairs. So if you're staying up for a little bit longer and they've gone to bed, then of course you can shut this panel and the light from downstairs won't be keeping them awake. So another little bonus feature as well. But these just slide backwards and then once they slid back, you've got access into the top of the roof. So, and then I'm gonna jump up there now, unzip, the canvas and put it into its scenic mode so safari style and uh, then we'll get Jack to um, show you what the bed is like upstairs and that space that you've got that you can enjoy. So 
Here we are in the Skyline Pop Top. So like we said, this is an Aurora in a short wheel base van. And as you can see, even in the short wheel base, it's got loads and loads of space. It's a lovely double bed at the top here. So that comes with this little mattress that you can leave up here as well. So when the roof is closed, it just lives up here permanently. So that's really nice. You don't need to worry about storing that anyway. So this particular one is the Scenic Canvas. So the whole canvas unzips and then you can roll it up. Sorry we didn't show you that in the video, but it is very quick and very easy to do, but the video will end up like massively long anyway. So rather than show you that, we will just show you it in the open position. So it's got five little straps that are just on a push popper and just roll up the canvas, put them on and that's it done. By doing that, you then opened up this lovely space not only is it going to let all the heat out of the van, which summertime is critical because you will be quite warm in some of these vans, uh, you know, if it's all um, enclosed. So by having this, it creates that lovely through flow of air. And what a great view you're going to get from up here as well. So if you're out by the beach, you're watching the sunset, watching the sunrise in the morning, you can open it up on a lovely summer's day. Fantastic. You know, the views from up here are obviously going to be much better than when you're down at the base of the van so it's a lovely lovely space so we always recommend to everybody for the small extra that the scenic pop top is it is well worth it they are a lovely durable canvas so winter time you can be quite warm up here if you've got the heaters running downstairs so it's a very nice usable space all year round and one that we just really really enjoy so to make that even better in the evening if you are obviously it's, it's getting dark and you want to stay up here we fit a nice little reading light, which has got a USB socket on it as well. That little reading light is dimmable. So you've got full power and then half power through that little switch. And again, you know, the pair of you can be just relaxing up here and use that just to, you know, make it more comfortable if you're on your phone or reading a book. So yeah, really, really lovely space. So well worth investing in the pop top. Thanks very much for joining us. I hope you've uh, enjoyed our little walk through and uh, along with us, you think it's an amazing van. So from myself and Jack, thanks very much for hanging around and watching our videos. Please do remember to subscribe and hit that like button and we'll catch you in the next one. So thanks very much and we'll see you soon. Cheers, bye bye.